Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 65-year-old male with foot pain. We have lots of findings, and this is a, a good case because it shows what most of us are up against every day, where the patients don't hold still, you have blurry images, it can be really difficult. But um, they have a few findings. Number one, there's a fluid collection down here. This turns out to be at the knot of Henry and the plantar foot. It's where the flexor halysis and flexor digitorum tendons cross over each other. Here's a flexor halysis comes over here, this is the flexor digitorum, this direction, where they cross, you get fluid there, that can be from tenosynovitis of the flexor halysis tendon, or sometimes the ankle joint will have fluid and it can communicate and fluid will fill up down here, but and this is just an incidental finding, I believe. The patient also has this fluid distending the fifth metatarsal phalangeal joint, lots of edema around it, really striking fluid collection, so they have a non-specific snowball inflammatory process you know, it could be psoriatic arthritis or something else, but non-specific. And uh, the reason I'm showing this, though, is for the plantar plate. Looks like they have a plantar plate tear, and it can be hard to tell as well. They have some perineural inflammation edema here between the second and third metatarsal phalangeal joints. So this is not normal to have this bright signal here. And when we see that, you think about a Morton's aroma or perineural inflammation. You, know, you also think about a plantar plate tear. So I like to start off with this axial image for the plantar plate. I go down below and I look at the round uh, heads and then look for the darkness in front of the round heads. That's the part of the plantar plate. So if we go to, let's say, this image, we see this dark band going across. Looks good. Looks like a continuous dark band over here as well. And on this one, you see that there's a bright spot in the middle. So that looks suspect. Now we go to this view here, same thing. Look how beautiful this is. Continuous band of dark, continuous band of dark, and then here, uh-oh, we have a hole, looks like right in the middle, so it looks like this is going to be a plantar plate tear. Also, their first metatarsal head is shorter than the second. They can put abnormal stress here, so that would go along with it as well. Now we're going to confirm with a sagittal view. So on the sagittal view, now here we go on the sagittal view, you can see all the motion artifacts we're up against, but they have a, an effusion of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. Now we're going to go across to see the second. Here we are. Now we're at the second metatarsal phalangeal joint. We see the flexor tendon here. And deep to the flexor tendon, we have the plantar plate. The plantar plate will go underneath here, and it should attach to the base of the proximal phalanx uh, of the toe. And there's a little bit of brightness here. This is abnormal. So this looks like this is that plantar plate tear we saw in the uh, coronal view. Now we're going to go to the third and to see, do we see the same thing or is it different? And here you say, wait a minute, no, I see a dark band going across here. We don't see a fluid collection there in the middle, so this looks good. And let's go to the fourth to get some more confidence. And this one, we see this band here of darkness there as well. So it looks like the second, uh, the third and fourth look okay, but the second has that plantar plate tear. So that's it, a motiony uh, image with a plantar plate tear, the second metatarsal phalangeal joint and then some uh, other significant findings scattered everywhere. Anyway, thank you very much.